so next question is a life insurance company offers 20 year unit linked endowment to lives age exact 30 premiums of 2000 are payable in advance for the term or until the uh, payment of benefit portfolio whatever um dead benefit payable at the end of the year is the greater of 15000 of value of units so it's limited to 15000 minimum maturity the value of units is payable assurance includes additional critical illness benefit on diagnosis of a critical illness the value of the units is payable immediately and all the cover ceases so it's similar to surrender so if there is a critical illness whatever unit funds are accumulated you will pay that and policy will end level of allocation remaining policy terms and profit test assumptions are given um so let's first go and check so you have the independent modality rate and critical illness critical illness can occur throughout the year death can occur throughout the year both can occur throughout the year okay it's not like surrender you have uh, age policy term minimum guarantee annual Premium is given to you, allocation rate, bit of, bit of a spread, AMC. Profit test assumptions are also given to us. Next, um, so now calculate the unit fund value at the end of each post. Basically, unit cash flows you need to calculate. Okay, let's start. First, wala, so they've made the table for you. Fund value, usually they may or they may not. Question three me they did not make the table. So it depends. Okay. Fun at the start. Yaha kuch nahi lenge. Premium will be thoda alag calculations. Hai inka, dekho. Premium is this 2000. Hai na? Make it absolute and drag. Okay. Allocated premium bid offer spread. So, three no cheese karlo. Allocated premium is this multiplied by allocation rate bid offer spread is how much? Kaise nikal de? Hmm. Bid offer spread bola hai khali. Not premium allocation, cost of allocation, waise nahi bola hai. So, bid offer spread is this multiplied by bolo, 1%. Just see what the column heading is. Aap apne man se kuch nahi likh sakte. Chik hai? So, hum log usually cost of allocation kaise nikalte hai? Premium into allocation rate into one minus bid offer spread you take that entire thing and you accumulate but here they have asked you premium then allocation premium which is into 95 percent bid offer will be this into one percent okay fund at the end before amc is deducted is how much premium fund at the start bhi le lo Hana? Because the pay fund at the end seedha bola before AMC. So fund at the start plus the premium uh, plus allocated premium le lete. Chike? And minus bid offer spread. This is how you calculate into unit growth rate, which is unit growth rate ne di hai kya? Ye to Four percent. Chike? And then just, itna chota to nahi aana chahiye. Achha, uh, sorry, one plus hoga na, mene dar one plus nahi kiya. Chik hai, drag. AMC is this, multiplied by 0.5%. At the end is this, minus this, you jayega, this thing. So, okay. Chik hai, isko kar lo. Last 
लास्ट वैल्यू चेक कर लेना हो गया ठीक है जो डन ठीक है इजी एक बार यस लिख देना चार्ट बॉक्स में हो जाए तो नेक्स्ट कैलकुलेट द डिपेंडेंट रेट्स ऑफ मोर्टैलिटी क्रिटिकल इलनेस फॉर ईच ईयर द प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ मेच्योरिटी बेनिफिट बींग पेड सो यू नीड टू कैलकुलेट ऑल द प्रोबेबिलिटीज देव गिवन यू इंडिपेंडेंट एंड इंडिपेंडेंट क्रिटिकल एंड इंडिपेंडेंट मोर्टैलिटी सेपरेटली सो हाउ डू यू कैलकुलेट बिकॉज बोथ आर एक्टिंग थ्रू आउट द ईयर सो फर्स्ट यू नीड फोर्स ऑफ मोर्टैलिटी फोर्स ऑफ क्रिटिकल इलनेस then you can calculate apx using that aqxd and aqx critical illness okay and then maturity benefit kaise niklega probability of that is ap t t minus 1 apx basically okay so first let us take out force of mortality force of critical illness then you have ap x okay then you have aq x d d likh dete hain khali illness then you need t minus 1 ap x okay this will be the probability of maturity chalo force of mortality kaise nikalenge this is the probability right so minus ln This is Q X basically minus L N one minus Q X will give you mu X. Same for this drag. Okay. How do you calculate A P X? E to the power minus sum of these two. then aqxd aqxd how do you calculate aqxd tell me force of mortality divided by sum of nahi ki galat kar diya maine sum of these two make these two only the columns is absolute ठीक है सो दैट वी कैन ड्रैग इट राइट फॉर द फॉर्मूला मल्टीप्लाइड बाय वन माइनस एपीएक्स सिंपल फॉर्मूलाज आपको याद होने चाहिए देखो अगेन एपीएक्स का कॉलम लेट मी फिक्स ठीक है this will be first will be 1 then it will be this multiplied by tell me this thing what they want over here is the probability 
that the maturity benefit is being paid. So what will be the probability of maturity benefit being paid? This is t minus 1 px. Probability that maturity benefit is being paid is your this. This is what? 19 APX. Take a probability that the person survived at the start of your 20. Multiply this with probability of survival in your 20. This is the probability of maturity benefit. being paid carlo is go quickly The company decides to set a new level allocation rate such that the present value of the profit is equal to the 10% of annual premium. So this is basically the policy or the profit uh, criteria. All other policy terms and assumptions remain unchanged. Calculate the new allocation rate. So we have to carry out the entire profit testing. We have the unit fund. We'll take out non-unit fund. We'll do all the um calculations okay and then they are asking determine without performing any calculations so for example we need uh the present value of the profits which is npv okay that needs to be equal to the 10 percent of your this thing um 10 percent of i think annual premium huh okay so let's do one thing. We will be needing this unit fund as it is Hana, for the calculations. So I'll make a copy of this sheet and I will keep it here. Uh, many copy nikara. All TM. Okay. Since here they have just taken these, they close. So I would have like taken the values and dragged it. Instead, what I will do is I have in this part three, this is the sheet that they have given. So what you can do is you can just quickly copy these, paste it over here, delete this, and you can maybe rename it. Hana? So these values we had already calculated. Again, policy or is 1, 2, this will go up till 20. Okay. Quickly do it. Chalo, karlo. I'll give you all time. Ekba mujhe bata dena. Yes, lik dena chat box mein.
done this one now these are very basic non unit fund cash flows that we do non unit um, non allocated premium will be premium minus allocated premium they have given bid offer uh, spread se uh, separately we will add this we subtract this over here here we add it okay expenses is so uh, 75 in year one then renewal is 25 so you can just go and select this drag for this one make this as absolute and drag commission again is 50 percent of initial premium next is this make this one as absolute the renewal pre renewal commission uh, amount or, or the proportion interest now these obviously we'll have to do premium so do we add over here yes we add bid offer spread because we're subtracting it from here so it's our expense uh, our income minus expenses minus commission multiplied by non-unit fund this one percent make this one percent as absolute and drag okay this is the interest i don't know why i'm not getting the same answer mm. Okay, okay, it's fine. Um, next, we will take after this. What do we take? All the benefits, you know? So, extra death benefit, extra death benefit will be maximum of. You have this value of how much? 15,000 minus the unit fund or zero. Okay. Got it? Okay. Mortality rate le lo. Now this mortality rate will be this one AQ wala because dependent lena hai hume. Okay. You can write AQXD if you want. Okay. Extra expected death benefit is this multiplied by this uh, death benefit is done then we have critical illness critical illness rate because here we are not paying anything extra. Whatever unit fund is being accumulated, we take that. Okay, now. So critical um, illness rate is again basically this one. 
आई ठीक है आई और यू कैन गो यू कैन टेक दिस ऑल्सो ठीक है ओके now another thing which you have to see what they mentioned exactly about this is that the assurance includes additional critical illness benefit on diagnosis of critical illness the value of the units is payable immediately and all cover will cease so when it is being paid immediately can you tell me like obviously whatever the unit fund is accumulated at the start this is what is going to be paid ha na what are we losing here we are losing the amc because amc is deducted at the end of the year but now since the policy holder gets a critical illness in the second year this much of units is accumulated you will pay this much and your policy will cease you will not get this so this amc which you are not getting is your loss so here extra expected ci benefit is this thing multiplied by amc this is actually a difficult part although it's only of one mark but this is a difficult or a tricky part ma'am can you repeat mm -hmm. this part so basically what are we saying that if there is a critical illness it's the benefit is paid immediately so we usually consider we take it in the middle of the year so let's say suppose the person is getting critically ill in the second year middle may so at the start of the year you had 3980 units you will pay this much units basically this is at the end of the year theek hai to agar aap jitna bhi units de rahe ho what you are not getting is the amc units see whatever units is accumulated in the middle of the year that much you are paying that's not a cost additional cost to you it's not exactly this much it will be less than this but you are paying that off we don't include the whatever you pay in the form of units is not included in your non unit fund here also that is why in the um, extra debt benefit we deduct this thing na no? we deduct unit fund we deduct the unit fund because we don't bother about that uske upar how much we are paying that is what like i have explained to you if unit fund is 100 if you have to pay 120 then 20 rupees is your cost but if you are paying 95 then 5 rupees is your benefit we include that as a profit that is surrender penalty remember we added it here we have so here what you are not getting is amc that you should have earned na you will not get amc in this case for the critical illness will you get that amc bolo yes or no you will not get that amc to isliye we'll subtract that amc le lenge ab to we'll just do uh, jaisa hota hai calculations sab humne le liya hai after amc we can have profit vector premium plus bid offer minus expense minus commission plus interest minus extra expected death benefit minus critical illness plus amc dekh lo
that's your profit they have mentioned present value of profit so we need to calculate that basically profit signature and npv okay so probability um of policy staying in force at the start jo nikalte ho na of policy staying in force at start ye pura jo aap log nikalte ho so <clears throat> in your you can just straight away link it because we have already if you know we have already calculated it over here you know so you can just link it to this and rag theek hai discounting factor is taking 7% One plus two the power minus this thing okay. Profit signature is just multiplying profit. with probability i should have calculated that first and then in this counting factor theek it's fine then you have npv which is your profit signature into this counting factor theek okay, hai once you have this with you you need the total of this and this total they have mentioned needs to be what profit criterion is how much 10% of annual premium which is 200 2000 so 200 hona chahiye so change this to 200 by changing the allocation rate now allocation rate we had taken over here we had taken from the base worksheet what you can do is how what was the allocation rate 95% so i can just write <clears throat> 95% over here and instead here in this calculation i can select this cell make it absolute and drag so what i will do is i will change this total npv to 200 by changing this earlier it was how much 95 now it's 98 you can increase the decimals as well 98.14 okay okay last part is determine without performing any calc so basically what we did is a exact unit fund cash flows i did not include maturity benefit because you could have included but extra maturity benefit kuch nahi dena it's just the unit fund only thing which i feel is extra expected critical illness is one which you need to see because this is um you don't get the amc so you need to charge it hai na so that needs to be <clears throat> subtracted amc they are saying that determine without performing any further calculations if company should hold non unit reserves now non unit reserves is not based on this it's based on profit vector which is this so as we can see the profit vector only has a negative cash flow in year 1 and then there is no further there is no further negative cash flows that needs to be zeroized so if there is nothing to be zeroized thus the company will not have to set any non unit reserves why do you set a non unit reserve when you want to zeroize the negative cash flows which is happening in future so that your portfolio is self financing you will be not needing any 
financing to be done in the later years of policy. But here we can clearly see that we will not be needing any financing in the later years. Only at time zero, that is what always happens. In year one only, it will be negative. It's already a self-financing portfolio. So hence, we will not set up any non-unit reserves. Understood? What you can do is, here you need to, for explanation, you can take this. Just for understanding purposes that what profit exactly you mean over here, whether it's NPV or what, you can have this so that examiner understands what you actually mean when you are saying profit. Okay, tell me. Clear? I feel question four was not difficult. Only this part was difficult to understand if... If you're making a mistake over here, your one mark will be deducted. And in the final answer, maybe one mark. So not more than that. Question three was a little tricky. Loan schedule plus DT, your decreasing term assurance. But otherwise, I feel it was a fine, good enough paper. Not a very difficult one. You can easily clear it if you have basic understanding. Right? Uh, do you all have anything else to ask? No? Okay. With this, we can end today's class. Next class, we'll be solving something else. I'll let you all know. Okay.